So I'm Nagesh. I'm senior digital marketing strategist at Ysoft. I'm also joined by my friend and colleague, Mr. Faizan Ansari. He's also a senior digital strategist, right? <clears throat> you can see him on screen, right? right on. And <laughs> we both are remotely connected. And uh, this uh, first of its kind uh, webinar even I'm doing. So it's a uh, really a, uh, unique experience. Yeah, I mean, we are also living in uh, times which is really unique, which is really unprecedented, right? Hope uh, all of you are also connected uh, remotely, most of you at least, right? And also, uh, as you know, all of us, uh, you know, by staying at home can uh, do a lot and contribute uh, in coming out of this crisis, right? So I, th I think we all will do whatever we can in our capacity and continue to work with uh, health uh, uh, workers and government, right? So without, uh, you know, much, uh, taking much time. Uh, so as all of you know, yeah. As all of you know, the today's topic is how businesses can navigate the COVID crisis through digital. Sorry, sorry. Just can you please uh, put put your uh, yeah. volume on uh, mic yeah, on yeah. mute, please? Yeah. 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 I think he is now mute. Okay. Okay. So we would request all of you to be on mute and uh, yeah. Well, and we have can... a... Correct. You can share your concerns over the chat. Correct. So I was just talking as I was talking about the topic, right? How we can, how businesses can navigate COVID crisis and what are the steps that they can take uh, through, especially digital, right? When people are not visiting the stores, when people are off the road, then are really scared to visit uh, retail stores and you know shops right so what are the things that we can do and interestingly uh, you know when we were uh, at wise of solutions when we were talking to clients and when we were telling them the steps that they can take the communication strategy that they can have they really appreciated whatever we were talking and whatever we were uh, helping them out right so that's when we thought uh, whatever we were talking was real uh, is really of great help to a lot of businesses out there, small and big. So why don't we go ahead and do a webinar? So that's how the thought of uh, webinar came to us. Uh, so, and here we are. So uh, without much ado, I'll, uh, uh, it's over to Faizan. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, Nagesh. Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well, safe, and you're all at home. So uh, yeah. Uh, Nagesh, can you move to, yeah. So this is, this is the, actually the agenda of uh, today's discussion. So I'm not going to go much in details of what exactly, you know, we are going to cover uh, on this slide itself, because anyways, we are going to cover it just, this is for your reference. So, uh, you know, let's, let's jump into the discussion actually. So basically, uh, if you have any questions and queries, I would recommend instead of, you know, talking directly, if you can just simply, you know, put up a message in the chat that you can see. And uh, so we will try and, you know, answer all your queries in the Q and A session. And we'll try to see, you know, uh, during the session as well, if we'll try and, you know, answer your queries. All right. So thank you so much again for joining. Let's get started. Okay. So uh, before actually, uh, you know, uh, talking about everything else, let us just, you know, formally introduce Voice of Solutions to you guys. Voice of Solutions is a growth driven marketing agency. And we help co companies and businesses like yours to grow with the right digital strategies or right digital solutions. We started in 2010 as a mobile communication agency and, you know, slowly, slowly growing into a 360 digital agency and helping clients across various verticals, you know, namely real estate, healthcare, education, FMCG, and various other industries that we work with. We part, we all, we are also partners with HubSpot, which is a leading marketing uh, platform. We started in Dubai. We have our operations in India and now recently we have started our operations in USA as well. All right. We are all aware of actually, you know, what is happening right now uh, in the world. And, you know, we are all affected. We are, you know, it's, it's you know, a different, I, I should say at a different length, breadth and the depth, you know, so it's uh, the scenario is different for different verticals, different industries and, you know, uh, the, the different kind of businesses that you are in. 
so let let us get you know get more more of it so you must be hearing a lot of things you know and as nagesh already told you that you know the reason doing this was you know a lot of people were asking they were concerned whether we should do marketing or not whether we should stop marketing what channels we should focus on stuff like that and that was the reason you know that triggered us to you know let's let's do a webinar and let's talk to everyone not just our clients yeah all right so we need to first of all accept that you know what is happening right now so if you look at the search trends definitely you know there is a decline in most of the verticals starting from travel if you look at you know there is a huge drop in the demand if you look at only google search or the search trends that are happening you know just just looking at that you can you know clearly say there is a decline in the because it is it is quite obvious right i mean you know we need to understand the situation of the world and at the same time you know so yep so uh, all right however i mean you know if you look at uh, you know so uh, a recent study that was done and you know a lot of people who were who had invested a lot who were trying to going to invest a lot in their trade shows and this was a survey done and when they when it was asked them you know where exactly you're going to reinvest your money that you had planned to invest in your uh, trade show a lot of people answered you know we'll shift our money to digital advertising with 28% response we'll shift our money to content creation then couple of said you know we'll shift our budgets to the, you know the sales travel budgets and a lot of said you know we will not reinvest that money we will see you know how the situation is going to be we will you know uh, stay calm right now we'll try and see what happens to the market and then we'll see you know what actions need to be taken however if you look at the change in the consumption overall and the behavior of the consumer overall you know uh, so sports events and all the out of home activities are totally down which is you know out of question altogether whereas if you look at the consumption of news and media definitely everybody is sitting at home consuming more media more news channels more social media channels more tv online podcast and gaming and that that must be the reason you know you might have also noticed that recently if you play games as well you might have seen a lot of uh, you know gaming ads even from facebook promoting live streaming on games that you might have seen all right so uh, this is this is the overall behavioral change but but this data is of of uk we should not say this is uae this is a uk uk based data that you know uh, in the consumption of various type of media starting from watching tv to uh, you know uh, gaming gaming consoles so you know this is the change in the behavior and if you look at you know most of it you know wherever people are sitting at home doing something there is always a gain so you can look at the you know rightmost column and see there is a gain in watching tv live streaming and visiting social media websites reading newspaper stuff like that all right however the question is the question is before we move further the question is you know whether you know we should uh, use it as uh, a tool that everybody is there online should we start advertising no definitely not because you know the, we need to understand the situation right now we should not go and you know ask them you know uh, to buy stuff uh, right away let's try and understand how to deal with this kind of situations and when to take the right actions so uh, before we begin you know i'll i'll take couple of examples you know where uh, you know the the similar kind of scenarios has already happened so i mean if you look at you know what happened in iceland in 2010 uh, if you can move to the next slide uh, nagesh yeah so a volcano hit you know in 2010 and it was post recession i mean go, go, uh, you know global financial crisis 2007 8 so after that you know the, the the travel was completely shut no air traffic was coming to the country and it was a complete disaster as a country for iceland but you know if you look at how they came out of the situation so uh, they partnered with brookman brothers and an advertising agency and you know they came up with a three step strategy now this three step strategy was very simple first of all you know they tried to gather they tried to you know uh, get their people on board that you know this is something this situation we need to get out of with a positive thought so they launched a campaign called iceland r and that iceland r even even the prime minister followed and i mean you know right now as well if you see a lot of countries including india as well you know a lot of prime ministers and you know people are taking actions and you know trying to you know make the uh, you know people feel that you know something positive is happening that's what you know you need to understand so, uh, nagesh can you please go uh, keep keep on the last slide itself all right so the second thing that they did was uh, you know launching a campaign inspired by local uh, inspired inspired by iceland which was uh, done by the locals and they started talking positive messaging through social media channels and spreading goodness essentially you know talking good about because you know they didn't want uh you know directly to invite other people first they wanted to you know feel good about the country itself made sure that everybody is on board get these people on board and then they started you know spreading the goodness with inspired by iceland and through uh, and then finally they 
you know concluded it with a live uh, uh, stream music concert so that was something that they did and it helped them it actually helped them after that crisis to get them out of that situation because right now if you look at most of the affected you know the highly affected industry is the tourism industry you know nobody is traveling i mean the people are scared scared to travel you know the people who are traveling right now is you know they're in either stuck somewhere and you know uh, because of the quarantine situation or something like that otherwise nobody is willing to travel everybody is there sitting at home which is which is which is right so, and if you look at the numbers how they came out you know it helped them to you know get 72000 tourists to the country during the campaign period itself and you can look at the campaign period in the graph itself and it added to 127 million pounds i mean that's that's not bad right to add to the economy so that was something you know that uh, and at the same time you know what happened at sars in 2008 so i will hand it over to nagesh uh, from here you know he'll he'll he'll, he'll continue from this slide on thank you thank you vedan so as uh, vedan was talking about so it's always we look at the historical data whether something like this has happened uh, in the past right so that one way helps us understand the current situation with the gravity of current situation and also help us plan for the future right so sars is a relatable uh, case an example right how uh, china was suffering in 2003 and even alibaba was uh, putting its baby step uh, then right even though it had a strong competitor like ebay in the market just because of for their you know staying invested uh, in the marketing they actually are now a 470 billion company now right likewise in the great depression of 1920s if you look at so post was another company a industry leader right how kellogg's actually overtook him uh, right by just being invested in the by staying invested in the advertising right a similar case toyota as we all know you know the one of the leading global brands right how they were in the 70 uh, 1970s they were competing with honda and how in the 1973 depression they still continued with their marketing budgets and then you see where honda is and where uh, toyota is today right we don't have to talk much about amazon as we know by valuation it's the global you know, number one brand in the world and how after 2009 Uh, recession right how they uh, planned their marketing strategy and uh, they grew and google's profit also you know saw incredible increase uh, in 2009 uh, after 2009 de- depression right so th- these are the cases that we can actually take uh, help of and uh, moving forward so at any crisis normally businesses are categorized into three uh buckets right one is some some businesses which try and survive so what are the typical characteristics of them very short sighted scared and confused really don't know what to do and require a lot of convincing right so they are really scared to take any decision the other ones who will survive or who will sustain after the crisis are the ones who actually you know come in tune with the reality correct they accept the reality as it is for example if there is a, a chain of bakery right who are not offering their services online if they just open up an e-commerce platform and uh, they are able to serve the cli- clients at this juncture so they will, are really coming to terms with the reality and making uh, best with the best use of the situation right so that's how you know brands has to be tuned to the situation and the businesses which sustain also take cautious steps at the same time they are open open for suggestions right and the businesses that really surge after any crisis this all you know based on the study are the ones who manage the current situation better they manage the design, uh, demand side better right at the same time look at the new avenues where they can actually grow like the e-commerce and various other options and then hitting the market with a revised marketing plan really not putting a breaks on the marketing plan but yeah go, going ahead and having a new marketing plan in place right so moving on so let's look at some of the cases how we you know the big brands uh, brands are responding to this crisis uh, right so this is a recent survey uh, done by edelman and which clearly says uh, which talks about the customers expectation okay so what customers are really saying is they would like to be associated with a brand which is responding to this crisis about 65% of them if they don't see a brand responding or doing its bit in whatever capacity it can to help people and come out of this crisis they are not really going to be associated so that's a you know uh, staggering 65% right 
so how typically businesses businesses are responding right you can on the right hand side you can see what coca cola had put out on its social media right the philippines uh, coke uh, had put out saying that for us people's lives matter at this crisis we are really not worried about our business right so they also pledged about 150 million uh, for the crisis right and that's how they said right uh, that's how they said the benchmark they put people first not their business right how typically businesses are responding they are forming crisis management teams developing uh, diagnosis pro- protocols taking care of their employees by encouraging them to do exercises right and obviously travel ban as we all know and then adapting new technology right so that's one big change and big big trend all of you will agree with me right which has already started happening that's how they are adapting and then through training so also a lot of businesses they are using this time to upskill their staff so that when the in the future uh, you know they are ready when the crisis is over right how other other some examples of uae how businesses have responded right so apart from whatever steps government has taken so you can look at the names like nakil you can look at alpha team ibc group all of them have pledged money and also doing their bit right moving on you know tata group uh, indian conglomerate they have also pledged about 1500 crores alpha team alzurani group all of them have pledged money at the same time many of them are making a statement that they are not really going to you know lay off people right so that's also a, a really a convincing uh, you know statement for the brands to make how are other brands responding right ola camps as all you know one of the leading uh, cab aggregator in india so uh, all, they don't have driver drivers are not their employees drivers are their partners so from that point what they said is let's drive the people who are, who were driving us right because all of them are off road now so they set a target for themselves of raising 50 crores and look at what has already happened they have raised close to half of it right and they have clearly made the communication also very clear so how they are going to use this fund because transparency even the at the time of crisis is very important and already they have done that right so how brands are engaging on social media some of the samples the right ones and the not so right ones right so mastercard i mean as you know it's again one of the leading brands and logo is something that is sacrosanct to every brand right they never allow anyone to purge with it but because of the crisis this is how they tried communicating and engaging with the audience right that's very important You're doing what you can on the ground to change the situation at the same time engaging with the audience in a creative way some more examples if you have to see nike which always propagated people to jump and wear their shoes and uh be encourage people to be always on track and be running they said it's okay now you stay at home right you can see ferry call and just play this so this is what audi did right to encourage social distancing all right so very unique way how brands are engaging it's really interesting right let's see how what coca cola india did to thank all the medical professionals people who are actually getting their hands dirty at this time and facing lot of brands uh, brunt right so again you have the brand element at the same time they are making the right noises all right again some of the brands like oyo you know went ahead and contract said their own business uh, proposal right so they oyo as you know is a uh, re- hotel aggregator right they always encourage people to come and stay at their home but now they said that it's okay you stay at ho- you know home not hotel right so brands have taken that bold step also at the same wall street one of our uh, customers they also said you know we, your health is really important to us that's our priority in case if you need any support we are there so that's the kind of communication wall street exchange has put out all right so not so good ones so at this time so as uh, fazal was also saying brand has to be sensitive to the market all right kfc didn't realize that it kept running the ad uh, campaign which it was running the finger licking campaign right and when everyone is talking about hygiene right not to touch your face with hands 
so this campaign really annoyed many people so then they had to really forcefully stop it right that's not a good thing and again philip savant uh, which was talking about uh, hygiene and the uh, baby hygiene and it actually confused a lot of mothers the mothers started thinking that okay they should cleanse their baby in multiple ways to keep them healthy not just uh, you know whatever government was saying so then again uh, to stop the confusion they has to stop the ads so brands has to be sensitive right so direct you know, now moving on so what we really have to look at is what really has changed right i mean uh, we all know what uh, is actually going on right so many brands were talking about digital transformation dig digital adaptation but you know i'm sure you must have seen this also right who is actually leading the digital transformation now is it the ceo and the cto of the company not really it's covid right because many of the brands who had never used zoom to come uh, remotely connect no you know project management tools are forced to adapt it now right so there's a kind of transformation and digital adaptation that we are seeing so what exactly brands can do right this is the meat of the whole webinar correct so we saw what brands are doing now so this is what every brand can actually do correct adaptation of the technology as we just spoke of right at the same time leverage whatsapp stickers because that, that you know even though you can't measure the reach but it has unprecedented reach right so everyone is on whatsapp so create whatsapp stickers you can see a couple of examples there right uh, who and also leverage the email marketing the good old uh, email marketing right it still works communicate whether your businesses are open or closed how are you serving your customers so that's very important at the same time try and automate the email also because a uh, lot of the companies are understaffed right so automation will really come handy here and also open uh, another window of uh, communication right which is whatsapp for business which is available for for free for every brand right you can just go to the play store and download it and with a unique number you can actually set up your company account right and that opens up another channel of communication so these are the few things that uh, you know companies can do moving on what more we can do right google my business right so uh, assuming that you know most of you have control of your google my business account so what you can really do is if you're uh, not open you can really say that you are temporarily closed so that no one actually visits uh, your office and uh, you know goes through a bad experience right that's very important so you should update that on uh, uh, google nagesh, uh, yeah nagesh uh, i would like to just jump in because we are getting couple of questions on you know uh, you know they are very very much concerned in terms of you know uh, how a small business owner should take the situation because the examples that we have taken is majorly from the brands and we are setting up a benchmark this is the right way of doing it so if you can you know just give couple of examples starting from because you know i was waiting for the slide so i knew that you know you can cover uh, those points of you know how small businesses can you know okay uh, okay least, you know brush up the very important very important because that is uh, yeah that is very very, very important we'll cover in the communication strategy as well exactly i think uh, that's a very valid question right so i mean google my business primarily is for small businesses right it's for the uh, normal mom and pop shop it's for the normal you know bakery that is there right so it can communicate and it can tell whether it's open because how people search is you know the nearest laundry shop near me right when if google says it's open or closed people will take the decision to visit it or not so google my business is for small businesses whatsapp for business is for small it's still not rolled out you can't do your marketing activities on whatsapp for business it's only for uh, you know communication uh, with one on one right so these are the free tools which is available small businesses can use at the same time what google has changed it uh, changed on google my businesses you can't really update your business information because google is also undergoing understaff right so you can't really update your business information and uh, you can't really uh, accept or respond to the reviews right so th that's still fine but what are what are the basic things that is really required in google my business is really there and also what google has done look at you know what small businesses can do google has already pledged about 800 million right in ads credit right so what we would request all businesses is keep checking your google ads dashboard if you don't have one it's high time you go, just go ahead and create and put the right information there your uh, company address and all that so you might be the lucky one who will get that credit from google right so that's one request we all do 
right moving on what facebook is doing right so facebook has also pledged about 100 million it's again to help small businesses obviously these but they're not really talking about helping out ibms and apples of the world it's about small businesses and as you can see small businesses grants program correct so post this webinar we will be sharing this presentation and it will have this link we would request all of you to just click on it and express your interest to avail the grant right so if if you are the chosen ones you will get the grant from the facebook right so what has really changed on the facebook as a platform due to covid right so ad approvals are taking time right and what we would really suggest is to continue the continue to run the current ad if you want to really promote something pick up the best one which was performing and just uh, run that and also at the same time you can leverage facebook frames correct and also there is a new feature which is called as questions to your potential customers right most of you are also under staff so what it does is it qualifies the customer before even they talk to you so it saves your time and you don't have to really have a person to manage it so it's it all can be automated if you find it difficult please feel to reach out to us for this discussion right let's look at what linkedin is doing correct so as you can see uh, linkedin is offering free courses free credits uh, for ads again and free premium upgrades and free teamwork so teamwork is a tool from microsoft as many of you know and google is also part of microsoft so all of this is available for free now so if you are uh, haven't used them yet it's high time you go ahead and use it all right moving on so, so uh, how you know it's regarding the communication strategy and over to faizan to talk about it all right Uh, so I, I see a lot of concerns about you know uh, I can see in that uh, uh, in the chat session people are talking about you know how a small business owner should you know take up uh, to this uh, situation and how to tackle the situation and how to handle the situation essentially so you know see uh, all we have to do is you know take baby steps you know there is there is no silver bullet to success I mean you know we we all are in business we understand the criticality of the situation. but you know at the same time how we can maximize the situation in terms of you know using it through the right communication strategy that is very very crucial even for a small business or a big brand you know it's at the end of the day we need to understand the situation itself even your clients you know your clients are also uh, you know humans they are also going through the same thing you know if if you know maybe you know they are also going through the cash crisis that the same crisis that you are facing you know so it's it's we need to first of all the first thing to build a communication strategy is to listen to your audience listen to your audience listen to your customers do a survey you know ask your existing clients what are the challenges that they are facing listen you know look at the data and you know be sensitive towards you know the situation and the depth of the situation it's not just about you it's not just about us it's about everyone i mean you know we need to understand how exactly we need to tackle this situation together it's not about you know just just do you know advertising on this platform and we can get that definitely there there are channels and uh, we you know as uh, nagesh already mentioned there are companies are doing their bit in terms of giving free credits and stuff like that start making use of that i mean instead of advertising start making use of that so when we start to make use of that it you know it it anyways it helps wherever money you know every penny saves is saved is every penny earned you know that's that's what it is all about so we need to understand you know the situation the depth of the situation and be open to your peers i mean you know talk to your employees talk to your customers and then change your communication strategy so when i said you know listen to your audience or listen to your uh, uh, customers or the people first you know how how exactly you you know you look at the trends you know what is what is trending whichever industry you are in you know you can you can make use of the tools if you can go to the next slide uh, agesh i'll you know all right so uh, look at the google trends put up some google alerts in the same industry what is happening look at the questions that people are asking you know look at you know uh, what people are uh, question questioning about and at the same time you know make use of some tools and technologies in terms of understanding what are the concerns of the people if you are not using listening tools i'm not going to talk about because you know a lot of comments are coming that you know we are uh, you know smes and stuff like that so i'm, I'm not going to talk about social media listening tools forget about that we can at least look at you know google trends we can look at uh, you know what is happening at quora what is happening at you know and then accordingly you need to create a strategy otherwise you know what will happen you will try and sell something which is you know not worth it i mean at the, at the, at the end of the day you need to understand what your customers are also looking for you know so that is that is very very crucial uh, for a business right now instead of you know just jumping on to 
everything and try in something which is not going to help you first you need to start using some tools and start and uh, for for an example you know uh, we have got a lot of queries where you know people uh, you know in educational institute we are working with a lot of smes as well you know these are small institutions and stuff like that so recently they have started to move to online learning i mean you know and and if you look at the trends in in ue itself you know that trend has picked up and the entire uh, you know world is seeing the same trend at the same time in real estate people are taking a, a lateral view of you know how exactly you need to take uh, you know in investments in so one of our you know recent you know i'll i'll, I'll share a case study i mean actually with you guys I'm, i'll just give you an example so recently when uh, before the lockdown situation in india you know one of our clients you know they uh, they they actually sold 19 units during the period when people started talking about corona in india i mean so during in i mean if that period as well if they can sell that means there are still people who are looking to invest it depends on the industry you are in it depends on the brand that you are working with i mean you know it depends on the kind of clientele that you have and based on so you always need to have a framework and the framework is very simple listen be sensitive be responsible open to your peers and then uh, prepare a plan and that will help you and then start making use of the small elements that you can you know utilize let's say for an example so uh, you know in the next couple of slide nagesh is going to cover some action points that you can use you know as a small business owner you how what are the stuff that you can do in terms of you know driving uh, business opportunities and how you can maximize on social media ads so if you were investing in some other channels which were you know uh, you know where you were investing a lot of money you can you know cut down your investment and look at you know the right kind of investments that you can do the right verticals the right platforms a lot of people ask us you know if i'll you know i'll not advertise you know whether you know whether i'll lose my brand you know it it depends if your spends are going to be down completely for next 6 7 months it depends on the period you know if if you would say i'll take a pause for a month that makes sense okay you know you you just want want to you know get out of you know understand the situation better and after a month you will start to advertise again but you know even to advertise you need to advertise smartly that's what the whole point is yeah yep. nagesh you can continue. so moving on so uh, way forward as fezan was rightly saying uh, right so especially for small businesses so we should really take steps which actually makes a difference on the ground right we saw that survey where 65% of the people are expecting brands to do something on the ground which changes right so if we are b2c we should surely see what we can do and take accordingly I, I, there's no silver bullet as he said but we have to be very calibrate and we have to take that step right At, and again the simple things how you can empathize and connect with the people you can see the facebook frame on the right hand side right what well, voice of solutions has created for uh, ourselves right so you can you know empathize with the people and you can showcase uh, you know you care about them right you can change your cover images uh, on all the social platforms with the right messaging create uh, website pop ups then whatsapp stickers which we spoke about that's also i mean many people doesn't know that yeah we can actually create whatsapp stickers it really and uh, you know we can do it if you really need support on that i mean we are here to help you on that as well right in cashing free credits which we already spoke about on facebook google and linkedin keep checking your dashboards uh, on a daily basis keep checking your emails from them you might be the lucky one who will get their grant for small businesses right and take up long pending uh, activities which were really in the back burner right on your day to day Uh, activity you never had time to look at your website content what is it's been communicated these are your digital assets these are the things that represent your company online right they have to be in real shape and they have to be updated that's how it works and that's how it helps you right so just take a look at it and try and make changes and update it revamp it if you don't have a e-commerce if you feel that's really important try and you know op- uh, build a e-commerce site it's really you don't have to really invest huge you don't really have to be a big business to have an e-commerce site right there are a lot of uh, you know tools available online uh, we can also help you out look at the seo plan look at the marketing automation tools right and also invest in free to i mean you can just avail the free tools that is really available and what we would really request is if you are smb use whatsapp for, whatsapp for business the icon that you see here right which is free and google my business right and if you are running ads continue to run the ads and don't create any you know new fresh ads right so importantly w- what also happened is obviously everyone is trying to do their bit uh, to help and elevate the situation uh, right 
we at Wisoft also, you know, started thinking what we can do to help, especially the small businesses, right? Because not all of them have the bandwidth, not all of them have the great budgets to carry out you know, massive campaigns. So what we thought is whatever we can do from our end, uh, right? So we will do it for free for three months, correct? Starting from today, right? Till end of the June. So what we have rolled out is any business who wants to run ads on any platform with a monthly budget of 5,000 US dollar, 500 US dollars, we would not really charge them for the agency fee or the ad management fee. Typically that ranges from 15 to 20%, right? So we, we have waived that off. For any small business who is, want to communicate something or want to do on the ad platforms, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll not charge you. Yeah. And at the same time, we would like to use this time and audit your performance uh, campaigns of the past. And we will give you the insight and you can use that insight and plan your future. All right. So at the same time, we are here to help you out to, you know, to integrate HubSpot CRM for free. Right. That is something that we can, uh, we are here to help you out. And then again, manage your Google My Business for free for three months. Correct. So after this webinar, what we are going to do is we are going to share this presentation along with that. If you can just respond to that email by expressing your interest, we will take it forward from there. So, you know, this is what, uh, you know, uh, Voice of Solutions is offering and trying to do our bit. Right. So I think uh, in a way we have covered uh, the topics that we wanted. And uh, Faizan, uh, so uh, if you can take up uh, Q and A, and right, answer. perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. So, so basically, like you know, uh, also, uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome, Murtaza. Uh, you know, so we, uh, you know, just just trying a bit in terms of you know how we can uh, help people. So, uh, if you if you guys have any other questions as well, we'll try to you know take up the queries, uh, you know, in much more detail now. But at the same time, if you have any other questions or queries, you can just simply you know jump into the chat room and you can just simply you know put up your queries. We'll try to answer that. Now, yeah. uh, you know, uh, one thing that Amin has had asked actually, you know that. Okay. He, he mentioned that you know our clients pay mm -hmm. uh, you know money and then we pay the bills you know i understand you know that's that's that that's definitely is there you know but but if you look at you know the you know if the situation is not going to change if the situation is going to stay let's say for three months let's say for two months let's say only for one month we, we pray it, it should be only for a couple of weeks and you know uh, things go back to the normal okay we, we we all pray and we'll help and you know we'll we'll try to stay at home we'll try to you know stop the spread of the virus you know that's that's what we should you know aim at however let's say for an example if it you know uh, it happens for a couple of months you know you're not going to, you know, the, see, uh, at the end of the day, you're paying salaries. At the end of the day, you have your manpower sitting at, uh, uh, at hand. You have people working for you. This is the right time to understand your current and existing customers. Try and talk to them more. Try and nurture them more. Try and understand, you know, where you can help them further, where you can improve the quality of your services. Because, you know, the, in growth strategies, whenever we, uh, you know, whenever we look at the data, the highest or the most important factor that we see in any growth marketing or growth strategy is the loyalty. If you can build up the loyalty with your customers and that can only be built, you know, with a super amazing quality of your services. So if you can look at the quality of services that you are providing, if you look at, you know, the quality of product, if you can, and at the same time from the marketing perspective, from the digital perspective, look at the digital assets that you have, you know, uh, evaluate, analyze, work on your SEO, try to get more organic reach. Let's say, for example, after three months, if, if, if the market starts to open, people start to search. And if you are still not there, you know, you're not going to get business even if the, you know, uh, the situation is normal. So you need to be competitive enough to understand, you know, the, uh, the situation and at the same time prepare for it, you know, how exactly you're going to, you know, sail through the situation. That's how, you know, we should all look at and, you know, we, we as well, you, you know, we, we should not say that, you know, we are not affected or, you know, uh, the other people are not affected. You, you, everybody is affected. I mean, you know, we are also facing a lot of challenges. We are also facing, you know, a lot of difficulties in terms of, you know, uh, uh, you know, asking people to spend money because, you know, they don't, uh, they, they're not in a mood right now. They either, they don't have clarity or they have, you know, they have the clarity, but they don't want to take that risk. You know, depends on that. So you need to analyze your situation as well as the market 
situation both the things you need to balance and then you know uh, you know put up a, a proper plan and strategy and with our service as as you you know we are going to give you a pre audit we can definitely help you out to understand your pain points we can definitely help you to you know mark out the problems that you have with your existing digital assets and when we set up the campaign we'll help you out in terms of you know the right ways that you can do yeah so if you have any other questions uh, we'll take that up here you can just put up in the chat or we will uh, conclude the session in time i mean uh, it's blinking i'm not able to see the uh, yeah, yeah i can i can see so can, can i just check what is the is there a query so that we try and answer it all right okay perfect uh, so yeah. so, the, yeah. so the, the the question is actually the uh, you know a company uh, that relies completely on event marketing i mean okay. you know so so uh, on offline events so this is uh, robinson has asked that question and so okay. uh, and the and the uh, i'm you know assuming worst situation which can be for as long as one year or more till mm -hmm. what can be done for a small business that's that's a very valid question i mean you know very true very true yeah. i think uh, yeah uh, just to you know uh, quickly uh, uh, you know talk about i think uh, you know as we know dubai expo which was uh, you know yeah. slated yeah. to happen in october such a big event which you know the entire uae was preparing for over the years has been you know delayed by an year correct Uh, yeah. very true you know especially the offline events are being delayed but obviously there are contingency plans and surely you know that budget as we saw in the previous survey also you know those budgets are getting shifted to digital right and if you look at yeah. uh, yesterday's adobe summit which is one of the you know yeah. uh, very interesting summit that all the you know big tech guys will look up to right adobe yeah. summit that itself went completely virtual What right i think if event of that scale can go virtual i'm sure you know there are many events even as you know the governments are conducting their cabinet meetings remotely right and there are many things that are happening so many things will surely take the shape of a digital is what uh, we foresee yeah fezan yeah i'll 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 give you a local example as well i mean you yeah. know uh, so uh, i i have a friend so jan actually is, uh, you know uh, he runs a company called venture central you know their their complete business is you know uh, events so all of their events are now you know put on hold and he he is exactly like robinson he is also struggling in terms of you know understanding so but but you know the baby steps that you know the company has taken is you know they have taken all their you know conferences online you know so they you know they they run a brand fusion congress that you know they start they have started taking it online the com it's you know it was a complete offline activity now they have taken it complete online so even you know that you know that angle if you know if it is uh, about corporate events and stuff like that you can even you know think in that direction if it is only about you know uh, you know some other wedding uh, you know wedding and stuff like that uh, other kind of events then you know then you need to hold and pray to god that's what you know we should <laughs> okay say true true all right okay so thank you so much guys if you have any further questions uh I think we will um, share this presentation. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah we, we we will we will share this presentation with you. And uh, further, okay. uh, if you have any queries, you know you can respond back to the email that you would receive. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, ho and hope and pray that we all come out yeah. of the situation soon. And uh, these are our contact coordinates. Uh, so please reach, feel free to reach out to us for any support or if you want to have a conversation. Thanks, thanks a lot. It was pleasure talking. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.